Like much of the Mississippi River watershed during the past 150 years, large sections of Indiana have undergone extensive land use changes as vast wetlands, forest land, and prairies have been converted to productive cropland. While these croplands have played a crucial role in feeding our nation, runoff from these fields has also caused significant environmental issues. The environmental concerns in the Chateau Ditch watershed are very typical of challenges faced across uh, the Midwestern Corn Belt. Um, excess runoff uh, from agricultural fields that surround the stream uh, run into this waterway and then feed into rivers like the Tippecanoe River and down into the Wabash and ultimately to the Gulf of Mexico. And those nutrients cause problems as they head downstream. But USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service and one very special partnership in Northern Indiana are taking the initiative to help solve this resource concern. Through NRCS's Regional Conservation Partnership Program, the Indiana Watershed Initiative is building on previous research that shows how two voluntary conservation practices are helping to improve water and soil quality in Chateau Ditch's 3,000 acre watershed. The primary objective of this project is to demonstrate the effectiveness of two conservation practices, cover crops and the two-stage ditch, and the ability of those conservation projects, or those conservation practices, when used together to uh, significantly reduce nutrient loss from agricultural fields. While these two conservation practices have been researched, developed, and successfully applied in Indiana's agricultural landscape on individual fields, a watershed scale implementation has never been evaluated in terms of improved water quality and soil health. Most people would do what we started with, in fact, a half mile of something, and then document the water quality benefits. We went from a half mile to 4.1 miles, and it was iteration, but we got there. And now it's all of the miles that we could do without ripping out trees, basically. So that's as much as we can do in this watershed with regard to the two-stage ditch. The same for cover crops. We've now got almost 70% of the croppable acres in the watershed in cover crops. The state average is hovering around 9% right now, and we're a state that's leading the way. The Indiana Watershed Initiative is monitoring improvements within the watershed by conducting both water quality monitoring and soil health sampling. Students from University of Notre Dame visit Chateau Ditch every two weeks where they take samples in stream and also directly from agricultural tile drains. In addition, they conduct soil sampling twice per year, once in the fall when cover crops are being planted and once in the spring during termination to allow the researchers to quantify how cover crops are improving soil health in the watershed. Cover crops and the two-stage ditch can work together because the cover crops help reduce loss of nutrients from the fields, but they're not 100% efficient, so there will still be some nutrient loss. The two-stage ditch then acts as a way to remove those nutrients once they've left the field and entered the stream channel. We've really shown that these layered conservation practices allow for us to achieve the significant reductions in nutrient export that places like the EPA are really calling for to change the face of water quality and to help improve water quality for future generations. Members from the University of Notre Dame, Indiana University, Kosciuszko County Soil and Water Conservation District, NRCS, U.S. Geological Survey, and the Nature Conservancy have worked diligently since the start of the project to recruit farmers in the watershed to take ownership and buy into the two-stage design as a conservation solution and cover crops as a complementary practice. The cooperating farmers and landowners have become fierce advocates for the project and the benefits they are seeing from these conservation practices. The landowners and the farmers are absolutely critical to the success of the project. 
Being open and transparent with the data that we collect on their land has been a key sort of trust building partnership that keeps the project going year after year. The success of this project doesn't just depend on the landowner's involvement. It also depends on the ability for all of the moving parts to work together. This project has been successful because of the very strong partnerships that we have built, um, our uh, good relationship with funding agencies like the Indiana Soybean Alliance, the Walton Family Foundation, um, and partnerships with other groups like the Nature Conservancy, the U.S. Geological Survey, and of course, the NRCS. Having all of the partners, the landowners, the scientists, the government entities coming to play and working together to achieve these water quality success stories really make this project stand out. The Chateau Ditch project has been successful because of the landowner participation and the amount of data that we're receiving as far as how our conservation practices are working, that we can take those, that data and do future planning with that. We can have discussion with landowners that we work with in the future and, and adapt it to different watersheds. The Regional Conservation Partnership Program has been successful in coordinating the efforts, funding, and resources of all of the Indiana Watershed Initiative partners to deliver conservation assistance to private landowners and evaluate the results in a targeted area of Indiana. The group is already planning ahead for the next phase of their project. The RCPP project really, well the funding I should say, is what uh, took this project to the next level. We, uh, uh, the, the funding available in farmer assistance and technical assistance is just unprecedented. You can't, normal grant proposals don't allow us to ask for that kind of support for this kind of duration over the course of five years. So I think it's that kind of investment in a long term a watershed scale implementation that really, uh, uh, really took it to the next level. From the knowledge that we've gained from this project, um, it's going to launch a whole series of new research questions that we hope to pursue, particularly regarding long-term changes in nutrient loss with long-term adoption of cover crops, the long-term functioning of the two-stage ditch, and the ability of these two practices when done at scale, at a large watershed scale, to significantly reduce nutrient loss from these landscapes and improve water quality in downstream uh, ecosystems. For more information about NRCS programs, visit their website at www.in.nrcs.com dot usda.gov.